So we had the ID TechX and hi, so who are you? Hello, uh, my name is uh, Zachary uh, James Davis. I'm a team manager at the Danish Technological Institute. So the Danish Technological Institute is in uh, Copenhagen? Yeah, yeah, that's right, in uh, Tostrup, Copenhagen. And uh, what are you showing here? What was this? So uh, basically what we're doing is, is uh, trying to cover the entire value chain from uh, powders of uh, nanomaterials like uh, silver and copper. And, and then we take these uh, nanoparticles and formulate them into inks. This is an inkjet uh, ink uh, containing nano silver particles. And then we can take those particles and then ink print them into something like a NFC uh, antenna, which is what we see here. Uh, and this is a totally uh, inkjet printed, uh, uh, both the conductive and also the dielectric materials. And then we have also a, yeah, a simple LED on there, which which lights up when you when the powers weren't running, but it's not doing it now. <laughs> nice. So yeah. And, and who are you? Hello, my name is Martin Sondergaard. I work with the synthesis and uh, development of uh, nanoparticles at the Danish Technological Institute. So I make some of these uh, particles in the lab, uh, conductive materials or fillers in the printed electronics, and also, for instance, magnetic materials. What is this? This is a um, <clears throat> super paramagnetic material we made. So you will uh, attract to the magnet, but once you remove the magnet, uh, the magnetization disappears uh, fairly quickly. So what is that useful for? It could be used, um, we try to use an application for um, electromagnetic shielding. So, so uh, in what product maybe you could go in? If you want to... Uh, Electronics? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> so the idea if you want to put this on, if you want an NFC tag on a, a Coke can, a Coke can is uh, metallic, so if you put the tag directly on there, it won't, it won't work. So what you need is a ferromagnetic layer that's sort of shielding the, the metallic properties uh, from the, the tag itself. And that's, uh, so, and you want also to print that, so we make uh, particles with that paramagnetic material as well. Nice. Yeah. Hi, and, and who are you? Hi, I am Christian Gallese. I also work at DCI as a team manager. I work with uh, slightly different materials, so uh, also nanomaterials, but basically they are catalytic. So it could be used for sensing, but also for uh, catalytic material for fuel cells or other things. So, um, how many people are in the uh, Danish Technological Institute? I think uh, in total, D DTI has uh, over a thousand, uh, a thousand uh, workers uh, uh, all across uh, Denmark, but working with very, very different technologies. Some like, for example, meat technology, agriculture, uh, life science, and even uh, uh, concrete, etc. What we're doing is we're, we're a small center, about 30 people working within micro and nano technologies, uh, for example, nanomaterials, print electronics, uh, energy systems, etc. Yeah. So, um, how f uh, are you the leaders for Denmark for this kind of stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, how far is Denmark? I would say in, Denmark in the uh, within, within the printed electronics world, where we just started like three, three to four years ago. So, and, and but but we are not working in uh, a lot of people working with the printing and and but we are very very focused on the nanomaterials and how to produce those in very large amounts. So, and that's actually the, the, the biggest challenge within print, to, to get nano uh, materials into the print electronics industry. So, um, are you, how far are you in this? Well, we just actually uh, have a, built a reactor that can actually uh, produce over 20 kilos of, of nano copper uh, a day, which is quite, uh, I think, uh, probably the, the most you can do in uh, anywhere in the world. So, so it's something that we're really in, and this is sort of a pilot scale production to show industry that it can be done. So, yeah. And that it can be done, yeah. but uh, you don't just want to be able to do it, you want to do it for we, I mean, changing the market or something? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, so, so the idea is that uh, the, right now every, everybody's using silver, which of course we can also do silver. Uh, copper is about uh, 100 times cheaper in the raw material, so we can com if we can you know, produce large amounts of, of copper, we can then replace silver, then we have something that is a, a game changer. Uh, so let's uh, let's stand up over here okay. um, to talk about. Uh, so what's going on? Is something going on here? Yeah. What is this? Been. So this is actually a very interesting. Uh, this is a European project we just started first of January. Uh, it's basically an open innovation test bed, uh, which is then bringing together the the experts within Europe within print electronics. So if you can see here, we have uh, partners like TNO, uh, CPI in the UK. Rise and Creo in Sweden, Atena in, uh, in 
Spain, this year in France, uh, and, and also Bahnhof in Germany. So, so these are the leading sort of uh, research organizations working within print electronics. So the idea is that customers can come in, get services, and get access to pilot, uh, pilot lines uh, specific to their needs. So it's a one-stop, you know, get it all in one place uh, sort of shop. You can say so, so within print electronics. That means all, with all the partners, everybody is doing something different. Yeah, exactly. Everybody so, has a sp uh, expertise exactly. in something. Some of them are providing, for example, um, you know, uh, technical modeling, economic modeling, life cycle assessment, safety regulation, regulatory issues, etc. Uh, support, even IPR uh, services. Uh, and then, of course, we have on the pilot lines, we have nanomaterial pilot lines, that's what DTI is doing. Uh, we have uh, formulation lines where they're making paste, composites, and we have a lot of printing lines like inkjet printing, screen printing, roll-to-roll -roll printing, etc. And, and all the partners have their niche within the, within the consortium. So, um, this is the EU kind of project? Yeah. Is all yeah. European? It's all it's all European project at this point, yeah. And uh, this kind of collaboration makes everybody stronger, or what? Yeah, exactly. So, so, so the thing is, you know, for DTI, for example, we're really strong with nanomaterials and scaling up nanomaterials, but we're not uh, good at uh, scaling up roll-to-roll -roll production of a printed component. So that's we need partners that can that can, you know, s uh, with the right synergies, uh, so we can actually do something, you know, that they can't do and we can't do together. We can do it together. All right. Uh, so, uh, but what's the, the main uh, vision right here uh, for all this industry, all this stuff that you're doing right here, it's for the printed electronics? Exactly. So, so the idea is, is to really go within the printed electronics, to, to actually you know, bring customers or entrepreneurs, anybody that has a crazy idea, give them you know, the, 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 the tools and the services they need to actually bring their idea to market. So that's the whole idea of Leebed. All right. And... Uh, because there's a lot of cool print electronics kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, totally. we yeah. want to see more and more end products in yeah, exactly. mass deployments I mean, yeah, yeah. in big quantities. Yeah, yeah. It's happening? Um, it's, it's, I mean, we see a lot of, of, of uh, push, you know, even from even larger companies like medical companies want that, you know, for example, to have existing uh, uh, you know, uh, products on the market, bringing more functionality, bringing more sensing into, into their products. We also see a lot of entrepreneurs that want, they have a really interesting idea that, that can, you know, can we bring this into a apartment? Can we make, a, for example, a, a wireless uh, diaper that can, you know, tell if there's, uh, if someone is wet their bed, etc. There's a lot of different things in and we see a lot of companies coming in and even you know entrepreneurs as well. Do you work with the universities? Uh, we do in 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 the, in the special. I mean, in some cases, for example, uh, we some of the, the technology we have uh, used for producing nanomaterials actually come started at the university. So they have the basic research. We bring it to to industry. Yeah. And then the students um, collaborate with you, and then yeah. maybe they want a job. Yeah, exactly. We have, we we actually do postdoc and PhD scholarships. Uh, they work in our labs, and uh, yeah, usually uh, nine times out of ten they actually start. They 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 continue with us. Yeah.